Hello, this is Marble Luigi, and I totally apologize uh, for uh, the uh, inconvenience of uh, not putting up any videos. I've been busy with college and all this stuff, and then so uh, yeah, the Emmys are, or Grammys are on, or the or the Oscars or whatever it's called, and uh, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't made any videos in a while, and. Uh, and uh, those rare GameCube games videos, uh, I'm, I'm going to actually delete them and maybe repost them some other time. But I was just giving you an update on what I got or what's been going on on the GameCube. So. Plus the uh, lighting might be shit, so I got this flashlight. And uh, yeah, you can see it will be plenty bright. So here we go. Alright, so as you can see, I I put these in alphabetical order before, and so um, and so here's some of the titles right there. Man, draw distance sucks. All right, here's Cubivore, twelve thousand copies, pretty rare, made by Atlas. Uh, Eternal Darkness, Fire Emblem, Rapace of Radiance, those are pretty sought after, but really good GameCube games, some of my favorites. This shelf is uh, full of my favorite GameCube games, actually, so, um, yeah. Go Go Hypergrind, that's a skateboarding game made by Atlas. Kirby Air Ride, uh, pretty hard to find. Ikaruga, pretty valuable shooter. Luigi's Mansion. I cannot stress enough how much I love this game. The exploration, the graphics, the gameplay. Just freaking beautiful. Just perfect game for the GameCube. Glad they're getting uh, Luigi's Mansion 2, but I don't have a 3DS, and then I might get one soon. So just for that game and Paper Mario and uh, Mario and Luigi, uh, was it Dream Team? Or something that's coming out. Here's all the Mario, uh, most of the Mario games right here Mario Golf, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Superstar Baseball over there, Mario Power Tennis, Mario Party 4 through 7. And here's all the Mega Man's, the Mega Man X collection right there. Right there is pretty hard to find and goes up for $40. Pikmin 1 and 2, those are some of my favorites. Paper Mario 1000 Year Door, you can't go wrong. Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, that's a pretty hard to find game too. It's basically a remake of uh, the uh, uh, PlayStation 1 version of Metal Gear Solid. Here's some games I got recently, but I had nowhere to store them. Uh, Ratatouille, Zapper, Catwoman, which is a horrible game, but... Uh, it's just the controls. Rayman Arena, that's surprisingly fun. Beyblade, Crazy Taxi, Player's Choice Edition. Um, the Ant Bully, Bionicle, Ribbit King, which is a pretty weird uh, frog uh, golf game made by Bandai. Minority Report and SSX Tricky. And down here... Um, Whoops, <laughs> I was pointing up. I thought that was uh, up there. That, that was just wood, but um, here's some titles right there. Um, I didn't have room for these. These are kind of the more uncommon games down here, but I think you saw this before. Um, SpongeBob SquarePants, like camera action. SpongeBob Return of the Flying Dutchman. That's just hard to find. Star Fox Adventures and Star Fox Assault. Those are some of my favorite games. Star Fox Adventures is so underrated. It's like a Zelda with Fox McCloud. Super Smash Brothers. Tales of Symphonia. I don't think I showed you this one. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Uh, I don't have the disc for Twilight Princess, but I don't think I've shown you this. Um, well, what's so special about this Wind Waker? This was only at Walmart for a limited time in 2003, and, uh, 
you, you know, it's just Wind Waker. What's the big difference? Well, there's a little surprise down there. It includes a bonus disc. If you could get it for a limited time at Walmart or something like that. And, uh, yeah, it's water damage on the back, which is unfortunate. And, uh, right there, you can see some of it right there. It's pretty beat up, but hey, it's worth about 60 bucks more than Wind Waker itself, which is getting up in value. Just because of this little uh, sidebar right there. It's not much special. It's just Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker on a two-disc uh, case with two manuals and the uh, precautions, of course, right there. Nothing too special about that. Alright. We got um, this game right down there. If you can see it. If you'll focus. Resident Evil 2 at the corner. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Which had limited releases. Resident Evil 4 right there. One of the best games I think on the GameCube. Which is fun and long and two discs. Skies of Arcadia Legends. Hard to find. Now here's some of the games that I didn't have room on my shelf but are kind of sought after. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Dark Alliance 2 didn't come on the GameCube because of uh, poor sales on the PS2 and Xbox version actually. Um, Alien Hominid, that's underrated. Baton Kato's uh, and Baton Kato's Origins, those are kind of hard to find. Beyond Good and Evil, that's... Uh, that didn't sell too well on the GameCube, but it's one of the best games I've ever played. Like Zelda and Action Adventure, and just really fun. Bust the Move 3000, which I don't know if you can see this, but there's a lot of dust on these. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, see the see the dust right there. Probably can. Digimon World 4 and Digimon Rumble Arena 2. Pretty hard to find games. Mickey Mouse. Uh, I'm still trying to find uh, Disney's Hide and Sneak. It's made by Capcom. Same makers as this game. But it's a little harder to find for some reason. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Pokemon XD. Gale, which is Extreme Darkness actually. I didn't know that. Zoids, Battle Legends, and this one I got recently, Worms 3D. That's a pretty uncommon game. And here's the sports games I uh, put over here. Uh, I don't think I need a light for this section. Uh, here's some of the various sports games I'll go through. NFL Street on top. Backyard Baseball 2007, that was a late release GameCube game. BMX, tri BMX Triple X, that's an adult um, uh, BMX uh, rider, like pornography and nudity and stuff. It didn't sell well, and it's not that good, actually. Dave Mer Mira Freestyle BMX 2. Disney Sports Football and Disney Sports Skateboarding. I'm looking for uh, soccer and, uh, and uh, you know, um, and uh, basketball. ESPN International Winter Sports 2002. ESPN MLS. All the FIFA soccers except for 04 and 07. So I do have manuals for, but I don't have cases. Home Run King, made by Sega. Kelly Slater Pro Surfer. All the Madden games, including Madden 08, which is the last GameCube game, actually. Major League Baseball 2000, 2K6. Matt Halfman's Pro BMX 2. Sure. 
You have a great day tomorrow. I won't see you, so I'll see you next time I see you. Yeah, I'm leaving, so... <laughs> I'm not cutting that out because of, uh, um, I have a loving family, so I support them. They're to Daytona, NCAA football, NCAA college basketball 2K3, which I still need the box for. It's a bitch to find. Only 5,000 copies, which is ridiculous. NHL 2000, Hits 2002, NHL Blitz Pro. I'm trying to find the rest of those. HL 2004. I actually have that. Um, Sega Soccer Slam, Street Hoops, Swingers Golf, PGA Your Tour 2004, 2005, 2006. Wait. Why do I have that right there? That's in the wrong shelf. Anyway. All the Tiger Woods PGA Tours. Tony Hawk Pro Skates 3 and 4. W-A-T-T-A Tours. And here's some I didn't have room for right here. Splinter Cell. All of the Lord of the Rings. My fault. Let the camera settle. God damn it. Metal Arms Glitch in the System and I Ninja, the two uh, underrated games. Pokemon Coliseum. This is, I'm still looking for the regular version, but uh, here's a bonus disc version actually, which you had to pre order this game uh, before, and then you got this bonus disc, which comes with um, Jirachi or something like that. Pretty hard to find. Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly, not so good. The Incredibles. And the Sims, some Sims games. Okay, and here's here's what I did with this shelf. Here's some of the extra games that are pretty good too. Lost Kingdoms one and two, Lotus Challenge, McGrew. Oh, whoops! I should have put these in order. Agent Under Fire, Everything or Nothing. Russia with Love, Nightfire, 007, 4x4, Evo 2. Cubics, Robots for Everyone. Disney's PK Out of the Shadows. I'm looking for Donald Duck going Quackers. Defender, Driven. Ed and Eddie Misadventures. I only have one Frogger game. This is a harder one to find. This is the first one, but I'm still looking for those two, which is uh, Ancient Shadow and uh, something else. I forget. Uh, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters, pretty underrated. Get the Hot Wheels games. Those are pretty good, too. Hot Wheels World Waste and uh, Hot Wheels uh, Velocity Extreme. It's pretty nice. Laura Croft, Lemmy Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. You know, this game, it's not too bad, actually, for a movie game. It's just it's just very repetitive and very simple. But, hey, it's not too bad. And Television Lives. Cars, which is pretty hard to find. All right. Uh, back onto this shelf. Midway Arcade Treasures two, 1 and 3. I'm still looking for 2, which is hard to find. Namkin Museum, 50th Anniversary right there. That's actually pretty uncommon right here. Naruto Clash of the Ninja 1 and 2. Need for Speed Carbon. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. I'm looking for uh, Need for Speed um, uh, um, Most Wanted. That's hard to find. Nintendo GameCube preview disc. Naruto. I'm missing one more. Oh, here's a uh, Darken Sky and Outlaw Golf uh, combo disc right there. Pac Man Fever, Pac Man World 2, and Pac Man Versus. Unfortunately, it's player's choice. That's the only way you could get this um, together. Um, I'm still looking for Pac Man World Rally and Pac Man World 3. This is a good movie-based game right here. 
Um, King Kong, uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong. This is made by Ubisoft, and it's sort of like Call of Duty, uh, but it's pretty fun. It's a pretty good movie game. Product number three, hard to find. Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Prince of Persia, Wario with the N. Um, Rampage, Total Destruction. Rave Master, Hard to Find, Robotech, Robots, and Samurai Jack, Shadow of a Coup. You know, uh, uh, they need to make that movie. That uh, Samurai Jack movie to end the series. Th that was a good series. I have all of them on DVD. I have all the Scooby-Doo games. Now I have 100 Fright, so this is one of my favorites. Mystery Mayhem is pretty cool. Unmasked. Uh, I'm stuck on this one part. Second Sight. Shrek 2. Shrek Super Slam. I'm missing uh, Party and... Uh, um, uh, larger than life or something. Smashing Drive. That's an arcade port. Smugglers Run Ro War Zones. Spider-Man 1 and 2. Of course you gotta have Spider-Man 2 and 1. Uh, Starsky and Hutch. I don't know about the game. Star Wars. Uh, Lego Star Wars a video game. 1 and 2. And Star Wars Bounty Hunter and Jedi Outcast. Rebel Strike. And... If you actually uh, contacted Nintendo or something, or pre-ordered this game, you got this preview disc. I forget how to do it, or how they did it, but it's a limited edition, and uh, not many copies uh, surfaced. Tack 1, 2, and 3. Teen Titans. Wait, what is this game doing on top? Get it, get it back. I need to check some of the ordering on this. This video is going way longer than I thought it would, but, um, oh well. I might have to cut it, but, uh, Teen Titans, Tetris Worlds, Jimmy Neutron, which sucks. Piece of shit. But these two, actually, I picked up recently. Um, these are actually good, especially this one. This one's... This one's a joy to play through. That one's a surprising. But this one's a piece of shit. Grim Adventures of Billy Mandy, the GameCube version. Haunted Mansion, The Hobbit, Time Splitters 2. I'm looking for Time Splitters Future Perfect. If anyone has that, let me know. That one's totally difficult to find and very expensive on eBay, and I don't want to pay for it yet. True Crime, Streets of L.A., Turok, Evolution, uh, Vex, which not many people know about, but if you love platformers, get this game. I got it for 99 cents when GameStop was clearing all their stuff, and uh, yeah, this is a pretty uh, underrated game right here, and uh, basically he has talons and... Uh, you just beat them up and platforming together. It's really fun. It's sort of like, it's like even better than uh, Wario World. Oh, I forgot to mention these two games. Odama and Killer7. Yep, right there. And here's the last ones. Zach, M Zach, Zach Bell, Mamato Battles, and Mamato Fury, and Wallace and Gromit Project Zoo. Well, this video was a lot longer than I thought it would be, and uh, I might not make it um, many videos in a while. I mean, what is there to do in college and pretty much put videos up? So, alright. Tomorrow, Luigi, and I'll see you later. Take care.